table here, right? So that's just the changes. Those, uh, yeah. I notice you changed the font on this. Changed to me before. Okay. Yep. Looks yeah. good. You like it better? Okay. Because it's, when I cut my stuff, that's the font. Oh, yeah. And for some reason, oh. since I got this new word thing, it won't let me change it. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. So. Anymore. My new word is driving me a little crazy. <laughs> Your new word is what? Driving me a little crazy. <laughs> oh, look! It's the project location. I don't like it. I was, just, I was playing, seeing if it actually worked. It works. Yeah. Well, we use it. Do you push your camera around? What's the whole thing? It's just that he's all alone. He's, he's all alone. He's not a guy. He's not okay. Yeah, he's kind of like the apprentice. Get it. So I told him. Uh, oh, well. That's okay. It worked out for me. We get an audience. We waste one. Come on. We do. They're probably banging on their TV. We, 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 <laughs> That's what's happening right now, Ben. How do you know we're not on right now? What? What? Red light. No red light. I don't trust the red light. <laughs> well, you also don't trust these, but yet yeah, you say ridiculous things. So, <laughs> so I'm at. Ready? Yep. Have your cake and you eat it, too. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. What? Can you wait for the light? All right, well, we'll call this regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District, January 24th, 2019, to order. We'll do a roll call. We have Aubrey Strauss. Present. Jason Greenleaf. Is absent. Is absent. Uh, Joseph Carroll. Present. Charlie Anderson is absent. Ben Viola. Here. Judith Cavallero. Present. Wonderful. I'm Nick Rico. Both, uh, I would just like to note that both uh, uh, Mr. Greenleaf and, uh, and Mr. Anderson, and, and are, Anderson traveling and are traveling and are excused. And are excused. These are pre-known yes. absence tees. Thank you. Uh, I understand that. Thank you. All right. Approval of the regular monthly meeting minutes from December 20th, 2018. Motion to approve. We have a motion from Mr. Second. Second from Ms. Cavallaro. Any corrections, additions, subtractions? I had a correction on page six. And um, it's like the third sentence or no, third paragraph. Starting with Mr. Reynolds? Yeah, Mr. Reynolds, project manager, was present at the meeting and answered all questions the trustee had regarding the project. Um, actually, we had a question about that drop manhole, and it was going to be resolved by the superintendent as to how that could be settled. And I've already given Wendy language on that. Okay. That's all I have. Any others? All in favor? One abstention. One abstention. I was not present. Yes, perhaps. All right. Superintendent's report. Okay. Uh, thank you. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of December is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.53 million gallons per day. Our effluent quality was, again, well within our uh, permitted limits. Uh, we averaged 96%. Uh, biochemical oxygen demand removal and 98% total suspended solids removal for, with concentrations of 8 and 5 milligrams per liter respectively. A copy of the lab report is, uh, is included in the summary. Last year we treated a total of 513 million gallons of wastewater from which we removed a total of an, a of an average of 95 and 97% BOD and TSS uh, throughout the year. Um, 
this 513, uh, total flow is um, a slight uptick from uh, previous years. Uh, no real known, it goes up and down over time. One of the things I did want to uh, point out, cost of treatment. Every year for the last couple of years I've been calculating the cost of treatment of uh, the wastewater uh, at the facility and using our total uh, operations budget, debt service, and capital expenditures uh, uh, for the year. Our overall cost of treatment was uh, less than a penny a gallon or uh, $0.0072 per gallon. Uh, a pretty good bargain if you ask me. Uh, last year was the first year that we did not process any compost. We are still maintaining our compost license um, and are actually in the process of filling out the, uh, the paperwork for that as we speak. Uh, last year was the first year that we did <coughs> sludge hauling of our off-site sludge hauling of our sludge um, for uh, disposal and in total we uh, transported 2,152.86 wet tons of sludge um, was hauled off site. Uh, this past year there were a total of six events of plugged pumps at our pump stations, uh, none of which were attributed to wipes. Uh, if you recall in the past Wipes had plagued some of the pump stations and some of the other uh, uh, wastewater treatment facilities, um, but we seem to be doing very, very good along that route. Uh, I think it's a combination of public education and uh, just um, uh, some increased maintenance and awareness of the whole situation. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of December is included in your packet. As noted, there are two anomalies which were caused by power outages. If you, if you know, uh, they were on the same day. Uh, the com computer server, which crashed late December, was re replaced this past month without incident. It was a budgeted item for this year, so um, it's uh, it just, just made it in. Uh, we had an odor complaint at 40 Orchard Street. Uh, the, town, uh, the town initially received the email. I, and then forwarded to me uh, the complaint. As noted in the email documentation I provided, the resident described the odor as a chemical odor. Uh, we inspected the sewer in the area of the, the complaint and, and deployed our three odor loggers to measure the hydrogen sulfide concentrations within the sewer over the weekend. We found no operational issues, nor did the odor loggers detect any hydrogen sulfide uh, in in the sewer system in and around that, that neighborhood. I emailed back the resident and the town with the results. The resident replied saying to me that she appreciated the, our efforts and she didn't think it was a sewer odor either. So uh, attributed to the sewer, but it, it's good to, um, she appreciated our efforts in crossing that uh, item off the list. And that is my Okay. Report. Any questions, comments for the superintendent? I guess my only con my only thought was keep up public education about wipes because it may just be a fluke. <laughs> I will. And you know why I say this. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, correspondence. <clears throat> um, I have. Uh, I have executed the agreement with Willette and Associates, um, uh, who will be conducting our <coughs> annual audit this coming month. As in years past, the audit will be will be presented to the board during one of our regular scheduled monthly meetings once it is completed. Cool. And that it for correspondence. Yep. Or what's this all over here? Oh, old business then. Um, CMP. Yep. Um, CMP now recognizes that they have had an issue with our meter readings at the plant, and I've been told that uh, they have corrected that issue. Uh, I have attached a copy of an email CMP sent me explaining the situation and what they have done to rectify the problem. If you note in the email, they mentioned that they have now applied uh, 
provided us with a quote unquote key accounting account manager who um, um, I actually had to reach out to yesterday because we got a notification from NG, who is our energy, our power uh, provider. We put, we buy our, our power on the commercial market through NG, but pay CMP those fees and CMP is to reimburse NG. NG sent us a notification yesterday saying that we owed them uh, basically $20,000 in, in back charges and late fees and and this was the first any notification on any type of fee that I've, ever, uh, that I've seen. I emailed CMP, identified that uh, this is their issue, not ours, and we will not be paying any late fees. Uh, they, those will either be forgiven by NG or paid by CMP, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so their, our key client manager is on the case. I'll keep you posted. Cool. Uh, any comments about the old business? So, I, yes, Mr. Ryan. So, on the uh, CMP bill, would they? They just going to send us a bill, or are they going to negotiate a price? I don't think. I asked that question, and I haven't got an answer. Okay. So, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the nineteen thousand dollar fee that NG was even uh, referencing was for, you know, because all our bills f for the last 15 months don't, don't even add up to $19,000, so. I'm wondering if NG has a method of measuring what goes out of their supply network and where it goes, and maybe that's what they're trying to track down. I, I haven't seen any bills. Um, could I jump back up to superintendent's report? Be my guess. I left a couple things out. Yep. Um, I have prepared uh, some bid documents for uh, the uh, vehicle that we budgeted for for this year. Uh, I've uh, looked around and I, I, I really wanted to change the vehicle from a truck to uh, some type of SUV. I actually I considered going in with the uh, police department on their bid vehicles for the uh, the Explorers. Um, I decided to go with something smaller and more fuel efficient that had four doors that we could take more than two people to an event, and uh, decided on the uh, Subaru Forester, the all-wheel drive. Um, so I'm gonna uh, I put those documents together and they'll be going out shortly. Um, we're, we had some, I don't know if you recall, a couple months ago, we had some high flows at the Dunstan Crossing pump station. It was a result of a grader hitting a manhole uh, in the construction that's going on down there, which resulted in a lot of gravel going into the sewer system. Mm -hmm. uh, today, they, uh, for the last two days, they actually spent down there jetting the system, cleaning it up, and getting rid of all that gravel. And just recently, over the uh, over the weekend, we actually lost our DO controller at the um, at the treatment plant that, that uh, takes all the information from the DO probes and um, takes the information and transfers it on into the SCADA system. Um, we it's we've uh, our mechanic took it apart, determined that it was the uh, the power power supply board. Uh, and Hawk is in the process of shipping us out a new power supply board, so we'll get that replaced shortly. And that's all cool. Done with that. Any questions about those other items on the superintendent's report? I had a question about the DO controller. Okay. When it's on the fritz like that, do you just set the blowers at a certain pace and leave it be, or? How do you pace the blowers if the DO probe does? Uh, old school, um, just like they did uh, seven years ago. Um, they set the blower speed and the valve positioning to what they feel is going to be accurate. They take the portable DO uh, probe, go out and measure the tanks, make sure they have sufficient air, and they check it periodically Very okay. and adjust the blower speed accordingly. Cool. Um, Hence the reason why the uh, uh, the automation is so critical because you know 
You don't want to have too much DO because it's a waste of energy, which we're not getting paying for it just yet. Or um, okay. uh, too little DO because the process it could be harmful to the treatment process. Okay. And the jetting is done by us or by a contractor? They hired a contractor out of New Hampshire to do the jetting. We don't have the equipment to Good. do it. Well, we have a vacuum. Excuse me. Yeah. We have a small jetter. They had, they brought in a um, commercial jetter with a vacuum. Good. Cool. And they even did very, the wet well to get any gravel that made it back into the Wonderful. Well. Ooh, that's good. That's a bonus. Um, new business 40 Agus Parkway, phase one. On behalf of Magenta LLC, Stantec Consulting Services has requested uh, that the Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees convey and treat the typical sanitary waste from the proposed office warehouse building at 40 Agus Parkway. The proposed land to be developed is an office warehouse uh, building um, um, and on a land parcel that's approximately six acres. Uh, it's it's going to be a phased project. Uh, this is the first phase of the development and it includes one 10,000 square foot commercial building and th that building will be split into two units, each having 1,000 square foot of office space and 9,000 square foot for warehousing. Um, I recommend approval with the uh, following conditions. This approval is for phase one only. All future phases will require additional approvals. The flow is limited to 160 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Uh, the minimum, this is the uh, minimum flow allocation for uh, buildings. Uh, no process waste or high strength waste. And then the future flows in excess of the approved amount of flow characteristics subject to additional approvals. Uh, 160 gallons uh, per day, it's the 160 gallons per day is subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current fee is $16.29 per gallon, adjusted monthly. And based on the current ENR, the total capacity reserve fee is $2,606.40. And um, the capacity reserve fee is due prior to issuance of any sewer permits. Any flow uh, above the 160 gallons per day will be subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. Sewer extension permit is required. A complete application of the associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to the term permit being executed, no site sewer work shall be completed. Uh, sewer permit is required and a complete application of that and associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to the permit being executed, no suit site sewer work shall be completed. Uh, no floor drain shall be permitted in the warehouse. All bulk chemical storage areas shall have secondary containment. Drop manholes will utilize a drop bowl as manufactured by a reliner. Uh, final plan shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to the issuance of the permits, including details of the sewer manholes, including the inside drop details. And then finally, uh, professionally surveyed electronic georeference CAD drawings and a stamped PDF of the CAD drawing and stamped paper copy be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. I'll entertain a motion to approve this project. So moved. Seconded. Um, any discussion, questions, comments? So, uh, floor drains, no floor drains. No. Any other questions, comments? All in favor? None opposed. Next item on the new business budget summary. 12 month budget, budget oh, summary. Month budget summary is uh, in front of you, and I recommend approval. Do we have a motion for the budget summary? So moved. Second. Cool. Any comments, questions? Okay, I'll comment that it is a wonderful budget. Only 91% spent. So good job on keeping it, all those expenses under budget. I appreciate it. Good job on the power line. <laughs>
we still will be within budget. Based we'll on, be within based budget. On my, my estimation on what we owe on CMP bill. Okay. Cool. All right. All in favor? None opposed. All right. We have public comments, but there's no public present, so we'll go to the trustee comments. <laughs> Judith. My turn already. This was wonderful. Sure. Hey, okay. you did a good job. Thank you. Um, since I will not be able to be here next month, I'd like to say goodbye to Aubrey. We're going to miss you. Um, she does a great job. I've learned a lot from you, and I'm sorry to see you go. And Brunswick is not that far. I've said that many, many <laughs> times. I just didn't realize you had to live in Scarborough. So good luck. Good Thank luck you. with everything you're doing. Thank you. All right, Ben. Uh, looking forward to another good year from the superintendent and the staff. And uh, Arby will be here next month, though. So. I will. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have a cake. Oh. oh. Let the minutes show there will be cake. <laughs> <laughs> and ice cream. I heard someone whispering. <laughs> uh, Joe, you were making the cake, I thought. <laughs> what was no that? One I said that. No one said that. <laughs> oh. um, I nope. have to make my own cake. Yes. Oh. No, thank the, uh, the superintendent and the staff for their continued great work and good job on the budget. Thank you. Aubrey? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that we need to always do every month is continue to acknowledge that we do, this district does a great job because of the people that are there every day. They're the ones that are out in the cold weather. They're the ones who are out doing the inspections day to day and making sure houses are connected properly. And so uh, I think we can't thank them enough. Can, can I just comment on that? Just today, uh, Jay kind of spent the day out in this pouring rain uh, with the jetter down at D Dunstan Crossing, and I was I was talking to him on the phone at you know four fifteen, and he was just leaving then, and yeah. you know heading on home to you know take a hot shower. So because yeah. you can't decide what you know, you have to do the work when it needs to be done, regardless of the weather. So. Thanks to the staff and thanks to Dave again for another great year. A fantastic superintendent keeping the, the budget in track and keeping CMP on their toes and honest. And um, apparently, you know, your makeup was good when you were on TV. So that's what I heard. Oh, I <laughs> makeup looked good. TV. Yeah. You did a good job. Good Thank job. you. Yeah. Cool. Um, again, kudos on the budget. Kudos to Jay for the hard work that he had to do today and the rest of the crew for the hard work. And I also want to thank uh, Carl and Rudy for hosting my crew yesterday uh, at Scarborough Sanitary District and at a couple pump stations. It was eye-opening, and Carl knows a lot, and he taught them a bunch. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's great. Um, we, we, we actually enjoy being able to pass on our knowledge to other operators and other facilities, and um, it's, it's the way we grow as an organization. It's good to share, and I appreciate it. I feel good. <coughs> cool. With that, I'll entertain the final motion of the evening. Aubrey? Motion to adjourn. Next week. Oh, next week. Yeah. Second. Got one from Ben and a second from Joe. All in favor? None opposed? We're done. Meetings are so fast. I was going to give you the wand. Oh, next, oh, next month. Next month.